fact is whether you like it or not, there is a great degree of public sh sanction uh, behind what has happened with Atik Ahmed, what has happened with his brother, what has happened with his son. There are enough and more people saying, Achha hua. this is what he deserved. Is that then not the failure of India's criminal justice system that we have so little faith in that system that we think maybe this is justice? You are right. It diminishes me, it diminishes our democracy. You know, a lot of bad things happen in Pakistan. It's a theocracy. They may even do completely consider you a minority of one and say, just because you're a Hindu, I'll eliminate you. And everybody in Pakistan will gloat over it. Does it make it right? What is the meaning of a constitutional republic? Why do you have Article 21? Why do you have this rule that let 99 accused go free rather than convict one innocent man? Why do you have this rule? Why do you say that we know in our heart of hearts? Do you know, I want to end by this. Uh, when Mrs. Gandhi was assassinated, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, on 31st October, I don't think there was a single human being on planet Earth who did not think that those three Sikh persons were guilty. Do you know what happened ultimately, Shia? It's important for your viewers to know. Three of them got death sentence in the trial court. One death sentence, uh, two were maintained, and one death sentence was committed to life in the High Court. One was committed to life in the High Court, two were maintained. Supreme Court has actually acquitted one Sikh person. Now, they went through a trial. Nobody thought that one person will get go scot-free. Not a single person, including myself. It is because we have something known as rule of law. And if you don't stand by the rule of law, the person who tells you that achha hua, the day the law comes after him, illegally, wrongly, arbitrarily, he will say, ke, bhai, galat kaha tha, mujhe the law chahiye. Dharmo rakshate rakshati. What does it mean? The law protects those who protect the law. Dharma means law, by the way. Doesn't mean religion. If you don't conserve, protect, nourish the law, then the law will not protect you. And I can assure you that every person who is gloating will need the law to protect him. God forbid if something bad happens to that concern. That's the meaning of law.